Hello, everybody. This is Dr. Cole. It's Sunday afternoon, January 30th. We're moving now into week four of Political Science 3143 Comparative Governments for the spring 2022 term. Everyone, quiz two is coming up tomorrow, the 31st. It will begin tonight, Sunday at midnight, and run for 24 hours. Ten two false items on the quiz for 15 minutes you'll have to complete the quiz. The subject matter is Prime Minister Viktor Orban of Hungary, uh, somebody who's gotten quite a bit of attention in media all over the world. Uh, we've asked you to look at an article from the English language website of German news magazine Der Spiegel about uh, Prime Minister Orban. Now, uh, Prime Minister Orban is the type of person who provokes a lot of strong feelings one way or the other. In the announcement I sent out, notice that I've given you one article that you're responsible for for the quiz and another one that I hope you'll take a look at for an alternative point of view. The gentleman at writing the article for Der Spiegel or make no secret about it, that they are not especially friendly to Viktor Orban. They are hostile to him. They think he's moving Hungary in the wrong direction. Um, I've also sent you, though, a link to an article from American opinion magazine, The American Conservative, and the writer there that you'll be reading takes a different view, is far friendlier toward Victor Orban. As a matter of fact, he has visited Hungary over the past few months. So if you'd like another view on Orban, I hope, I hope you'll take a look at that. To put it in a nutshell, Victor Orban is one of the more prominent Trumpist politicians in the world other than Donald Trump himself. So that's, in a nutshell, is what, going on, what is going on with Victor Orban. Everyone on the syllabus this week, we have a little bit of material about uh, judiciaries around the world and political parties. Uh, let me just point out a few things. These are in the class notes for uh, unit six, I believe, lecture six, lecture six class notes. Regarding judiciaries, one thing you'll, among the things you'll notice, judiciaries around the world differ in the extent to which they are independent of their governments. The legislatures, especially the executives in a particular country. As so we look around the world and compare one to another, some are quite independent of their governments and some are not. Some are under the, you might say, under the thumb of whoever it is that is running that particular country. Now, we've just been looking at political parties in Germany, to give you an idea of the variety of parties you can find in a country like that, where the, the rules of the game are different from those in the United States. Now, the class notes for Lecture 6 go through the spectrum of political parties that you can find around the world. Liberal and conservative parties, fascist, socialist, and communist parties, religious parties. Now, you can, of course, have a two-party or a multi-party system in a liberal democracy. And I think our class notes address the different constitutional arrangements and rules that may lead to either a two-party or a multi-party system. Now, you also have authoritarian one-party regimes around the world. But even in a liberal democracy, where many parties are permitted, it sometimes turns out that one party is predominant, even though other parties are allowed. So predominant party systems are a significant feature we find in some but not all countries around the world. All right, so after you take your quiz tomorrow, oh, Mr. Orban, that is the material of the syllabus this week in the class notes for Lecture 6. Now, coming up next week in Lecture 7, we have some material about pressure groups, interest groups, and political culture. After that, we begin looking at particular countries. We look at Great Britain, Canada, and Germany before we take our midterm exam. We have a little bit of a hiatus this week from quizzes and discussions. I do need to get in two more quizzes and two discussions uh, before the midterm exam, which is coming up after the 1st of March. More than likely, there will be one quiz and one discussion about Great Britain, and then another one, another quiz, and about a, another discussion. And those will be about either Canada or Germany. I have yet to determine that, but we've got more than a month to get all that in. 
So that's how it's looking between now and the midterm exam. For now, you have your quiz on the Victor Oban material for tomorrow, Monday, January 31st for 24 hours. And then after that, we will look at the uh, Lecture 6 class notes from the syllabus for this week. So that's it for this week. Good luck on the quiz. We'll be talking to you once again a week from now at this time. Take it easy.